Hello, welcome to Mini Book Plus Art. My name is Nicole Anau, and I'm the Outreach and Family Program Coordinator at the Norton Museum of Art. And I'm here with... Hi, everyone. My name is Miss Elizabeth Ronworth, and I am head of the Children and Teen Services here at the Palm Beach County Library System. And with me is my friend, Amber Denise Puckett. This is Mini Book Plus Art virtually. During Mini Book Plus Art, a program that we typically have at the library as part of our library partnership, we read a book in English and in Spanish, and we relate it to a work of art from the Norton Museum of Arts collection. Okay, everyone, are you ready for our story? Today, we are going to be reading Marisol McDonald Doesn't Match by Monica Brown and illustrated by Sarah Palicios. Are we ready? Let's begin. My name is Marisol McDonald and I don't match. At least that's what everyone tells me. Me llamo Marisol McDonald y no combino. Al menos eso es lo que me dicen todos. I play soccer with my cousin Pato and he says, Marisol, your skin is brown like mine, but your hair is the color of carrots. You don't match. Actually, my hair is the color of I say and kick the ball over Tato's head and into the goal. Cuando juego al fútbol con mi primo Tato, él me dice, Marisol, tu piel es morena como la mía, pero tu pelo es de color de las zanahorias. No combinas. En realidad, mi pelo es del color del fuego. Le contesto pateando la pelota que vuela sobre su cabeza Llegando al arco. My brother says, Marisol, those pants don't match that shirt. They clash. But I love green polka dots and purple stripes. I think they go great together. Don't you? Mi hermano dice, Marisol, Esos pantalones no combinan con esa blusa. Chocan. Pero a mí me encantan los lunares verdes y las rayas moradas. Creo que va muy bien juntos. ¿No crees? I also love peanut butter and jelly burritos. And speaking Spanish, English, and sometimes both. Can I have a puppy? A furry sweet parito? I asked my parents. Por favor. Que sas, mommy says. Maybe, dad says, smiling and winking. También me encantan los burritos de mantequilla de maní y jalea. Y hablar español e inglés a veces al mismo tiempo. ¿Puedo tener un perrito? Un poppy dulce y peludito. Le pido a mis padres, please. Quizás, dice mami. Maybe, dice dad, sonriendo y guiñando. My teacher, Miss Apple, doesn't like the way I sign my name. Marisol McDonald, she says. This doesn't match. At school, we learn to print and use cursive, but not at the same time. But I like the way Marisol McDonald looks. A mi maestra, la señorita Apple, no le gusta como firmo mi nombre. Marisol McDonald dice, esto no combina. En la escuela aprendemos a escribir en letra de imprenta y en cursiva, pero no usarlas a la misma vez. Pero a mí me gusta como luce Marisol McDonald cuando lo escribo. 
at recess, Ollie and Emma want to play pirates, and Noah wants to play soccer. How about soccer playing pirates, I suggest? No way, they say, so I run off to play on the swings by myself. Te creo. Oli y Emma quieren jugar a los piratas, pero Noah quiere jugar al fútbol. ¿Por qué no jugamos a los, pirat a los piratas futbolistas? Les sugiero. ¿Por qué no? Contestan y me voy corriendo a los columpios a jugar sola. After recess, we have art. My favorite subject. I think my drawings surprise my friends. Después del recreo, tenemos la clase de arte. Mi favorita. Creo que mis dibujos sorprenden a mis amigos. At lunch, Ollie walks over to me and scrunches his nose. A peanut butter and jelly burrito? He asks. I know, I know. I say, it doesn't match. But it sure tastes good. Marisol, you couldn't match if you wanted to, Ollie says. Oh, yeah, I bet I can. A la hora del almuerzo, Ollie se me acerca arrugando la nariz. Un burrito de mantequilla de maní jalea, pregunta. Ya sé, ya sé, le contesto. No combina. Pero es delicioso. Marisol, tú no podrías combinar aunque trataras, dice Oli. Ah, sí? Te apuesto a que sí puedo. The next day, I wake up and decide that today, I, Marisol McDonald, will match. It's a little hard to find clothes that are all the same color. Cuando me despierto al día siguiente, decido que hoy Marisol McDonald va a combinar. No es fácil encontrar ropa del mismo color. I play pirates with Ollie at recess, but it's not very fun. Why can't pirates play soccer? Anyway, I have a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch, and the bread tastes mushy. Juego a los piratas con Oli en el recreo, pero no me divierto mucho. ¿Por qué no pueden jugar fútbol los piratas? Como un sándwich de mantequilla de maní y jalea a la hora de almuerzo, pero el pan sabe blando. Mm. Even art class is a little boring. Marisol, Miss Apple says, what's wrong? This doesn't look like your usual work. I'm trying to match, I say with a frown. Why, asks Miss Apple. I can't think of a single good reason. Hasta la clase de arte me aburre un poco. Marisol, ¿qué sucede? Este no parece a tus trabajos usuales, dice la señorita Apple. Estoy tratando de combinar, le contesto, frunciendo el ceño. ¿Por qué? Pregunta la señorita Apple. No se me ocurre una buena razón. At the end of the day, Miss Apple hands me a note. I open it and it says, Marisol, I want you to know that I like you just the way you are. Because the Marisol McDonald that I know is a creative, unique, bilingual, Peruvian, Scottish, American soccer playing artist and simply marvelous. Miss Jamico Apple, I skip all the way home. Al final del día, la señorita Apple me da una nota. La abro y la leo. Marisol, 
Quiero que sepas que te aprecio tal y como eres porque la Marisol McDonald que conozco es una artista y jugadora de fútbol, peruana, escocesa, estadounidense, bilingüe, creativa, única y simplemente maravillosa. Señorita Yamiko Apple, brinco todo el camino a casa. When I wake up on Saturday, I put on my pink shirt, my polka dot skirt, and my favorite hat, the one Abuleta brought from me from Peru. At breakfast, I say, my name is Marisol McDonald, and I don't match because I don't want to. Bravo, says mommy. Good for you, says dad. Now let's go to the pound and get a puppy. Cuando me despierto el sábado, me pongo mi camisa rosada con mi falda de lunares y mi sombrero favorito, el que mi, abuel el que mi abuelita me trajo de Perú. Durante el desayuno digo, me llamo Marisol McDonald y no combino porque no quiero hacerlo. Bravo, dice mami. Me alegro por ti, dice dad. Ahora vamos a la perrera a buscar tu perrito. <laughs> When we get to the pound, there are big dogs and little dogs. There are dogs with long noses and dogs with smushed faces. There are chocolate covered puppies and smoky gray puppies and puppies of the color of caramel. How will I ever choose? Cuando llegamos a la perrera, vemos perros grandes y perros pequeños. Hay perros con hocicos largos y perros con caras chatas. Hay perritos del color del chocolate, perritos color gris humo y perritos color caramelo. ¿Cómo escoger el mío? Then I see him. He has one floppy ear and one pointy ear, the one blue eye and the one brown eye. He is beautiful. I walk over and he leaps into my lap. I cuddle him and it sounds like he purrs. I think we found just the right dog for you, Marisol, mommy says. My puppy is perfect. He's mismatched and simply marvelous, just like me. I think I'll name him Kitty. Hasta que lo veo. Tiene una oreja caída y una puntiaguda, un ojo azul y un ojo café. Es hermoso. Camino hacia él y él salta mi falda. La abrazo y parece que ronroneara. Creo que hemos encontrado el perro perfecto para ti, Marisol, dice mami. Mi perrito es perfecto. Él no combina y es simplemente maravilloso. Igual que yo. Creo que lo llamaré Minino. <risa> Yay! And that was Marisol McDonald doesn't match. Thank you for joining today's reading. I hope you enjoyed Marisol McDonald Doesn't Match. Now, let us take a look at this work of art. The name of the artist is Graciela Iturbide, and the name of the artwork is Nuestra Señora de las Iguanas. This photograph is part of the Norton Museum's photography collection. We decided to discuss this work of art today Because just like Marisol McDonald, the woman in the photograph is unique and self-assured. Now, let's take a look at the woman. Can you see what's in her head? Yes, those are iguanas. Why do you think she has iguanas on her head? How do you think it would feel to have iguanas in your head? Take a look at her facial expression. Doesn't she look proud? Well, the artist and photographer, Graciela Iturbide, 
wanted to show the power of women in native Mexican culture and explore the identities of the communities and individuals. The woman in the picture belongs to the Zapotec community, which is matriarchy. Do you know what matriarchy means? It means that women are the leaders and are in charge of almost everything. Do you see how the photographer positions us as if we're looking up at her? It's like she is a queen and is wearing a crown of iguanas. If you had to make a crown to show your own power, what would you make it out of? Now, I invite you to check out our coloring sheet inspired on Graciela Iturbide's Nuestra Señora de las Iguanas. Thank you for joining Mini Book Plus Art, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye.